Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be talking about scene hierarchy and resources in Unreal 4. So one of the first things you want to do when you set up a scene is to begin setting up organization and folder structure. In our world outliner, there's two ways that we can make folders. We can come up to the right hand corner and click on the icon, or we can right click and choose create folder and we can give it a name. If you want to duplicate this folder or other objects, you hold down control on the keyboard and hit W. And if you want to rename a folder or other objects, you hit F2 on the keyboard. Now, if you want to reorder your scene hierarchy, all you need to do is drag and drop an object. In Unreal 4, you can't drag an object in between other objects. So if you want to unchild an object or take it out of a folder, you have to drag it up to the next hierarchy level. Another way that you can reorganize objects is by selecting everything that you want, right clicking and going down to move to. And in here, you'll see the folders that you've made. This can be really useful if you have a lot of things in your scene hierarchy and you don't want to drag them all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. Next, you'll notice that there's a folder all the way at the root and this folder will always be there and it'll have the same name as your level. This is where your world settings are stored. If you double click this, your world settings will open up. Next, we'll come down to the content browser. This is where you'll create, add, or import different assets or resources to your project. If you come all the way over to the left hand corner, right below add new, you'll see this icon. If you click on this, this will open up your sources panel. This window will help you see the hierarchy of your content. Now to begin organizing our content browser, there's a few ways we can do that. You can come over to the add new button or you can right click. And in here, you'll see a big list of different assets and resources. But what we want is new folder. Now another way that we can add a new folder is by coming over to content, right clicking and going to show and explore. And this will open up your project where you initially saved it. And here, if you create a new folder, it'll show up in the engine immediately. Now some of the options in the content browser are a little different than the world outliner. You can't duplicate folders, but you can duplicate assets. You'll have to create a new folder every time you want a new one. But if you want to rename any folder or asset, you can right click and go to rename or you can hit F2 on the keyboard. Now if you want to move something in your content browser, all you need to do is drag and drop. And when you do that, you get three options. Move here, copy here, and advanced copy. So Unreal is a little different. Whenever you move something in your content browser or rename it, it makes a redirector file. Unreal does this so that if another asset is referencing it, it knows where to find it. To see if you have any redirectory files, you want to come to filters, and you want to go to miscellaneous and then you want to come down to redirector. Now right now I don't have any redirector files because the assets that I moved or renamed they're not referencing anything else. But if you do see redirector files show up you do not want to delete them. You want to clean them up. And the way that you do that is by right clicking in the hierarchy or the folder that they're located and you go to fix up redirectories in folder. After you fix up those redirectories you'll want to save. So there's a few more things to look at. If you want to make additional content browsers to make it easier to move files around, you can right click on content and choose show a new content browser, or you can come up to window and you can come down to content browser and you can choose up to four content browsers to be up at one time. Another option we have is if you right click on a folder, you can change the color of it so you can make it a little bit more visible. And then the last thing we have are the view options. So right now the thumbnails are tiles, you can change them into a list or columns. And then all the way down at the bottom, you can change the scale of the thumbnails. Maybe they're too small or maybe they're too big. All right, guys, that covers scene hierarchy and resources. If you thought this video was useful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.